In this section, we'll talk about normal quantile plots. So we can use software to make normal quantile plots to determine if a data set is normally distributed. So that's something we're often very interested in. We have a data set and we want to say, oh, does this seem like a normal distribution would work well to find probabilities for or to somehow describe it? Okay, so what we have is we could just look at our histograms. You'll see here all of these blues are our actual histograms. Okay, so I could look at this one and say, oh, well, that looks like a normal distribution. That one would probably work. Okay, or I might look at something like this one and say, oh, that does not look like the normal distribution. That one probably wouldn't work. But instead of just looking at the histogram, we invented something called a normal quantile plot. We use software to make a normal quantile plot to tell us if our data set is normally distributed. Okay. And the normal quantile plot, what it is, is it's comparing your data to an actual normal distribution. And so if your data is normally distributed and you compare it to a normal distribution, they should line up nicely and form a line. So if the points on the normal quantile plot lie close to a straight line, because again, it's comparing it to a normal distribution, so they line up in a straight line, we know that the data is approximately normally distributed. So I put these in two columns here. The first column is the data is approximately normally distributed. So you can see here, this one looks very normal, almost exact straight line. This one is kind of fairly mound shaped, not exactly normal, but pretty close and fairly straight line. Okay, fairly normal, fairly normal. These are all fairly straight lines and the histograms look fairly normal. Okay, even these ones again look fairly normal, fairly normal. Notice this one is a little bit less skewed here and you'll kind of see my normal curve plot kind of dips a little bit. But overall, it's still a fairly straight line and I would say this data is at least approximately normal. Now in real life, you usually don't have data that looks exactly normal because data in real life is just messy. So if it's close to normal, we're pretty happy with that. Let's look at our second column. These are things where the data is definitely not normal. So this one doesn't look like a normal distribution at all. It looks fairly flat or fairly uniform. Everything looks about the same height. And notice the normal curve plot is not a straight line. It's definitely a curve, so not a straight line. This one that was left skew, notice it kind of scoops down. A straight line would be like this. It scoops down quite a bit. Here's another one that was more uniform, and that is definitely a curve, not a straight line. This one, this one up here was right skew. I'm not sure what I said. This one down here is left skew. It has that long left tail. If I was to go like this, oh, yep, that was supposed to be a straight line. There's no way that's a straight line. Okay, this is another right skew one. Okay, definitely curved, not a straight line. This one, again, a straight line would be more like this. That's definitely not a straight line. So these are all data that's not normally distributed. Okay, the reason we care is because later on in almost all of our sections, we'll say, oh, if we wanna do this test, our data needs to be normally distributed. This is a good way to check to see if your data is normally distributed.